This guy, you can see him walk up very casually, take his time to tie the dog up. The dog sits down. The dog clearly knows who he's with. And then comes back out, kind of glances down at the dog, almost like it's to say goodbye in a very nonchalant way. holds up his cell phone to take a picture, to text it to somebody, almost as if to say, okay, I've done it. And the person working in the shop had said that this guy came in and said that somebody tied this dog up. So here we have it on camera knowing, okay, right away you lied. Trap looks at every person that walks by. Like, are you coming to, it, gets me so much. He looked at every one of them like, are you my person? Where are my people? Are they coming back for me? The store owner took him in and, and she reached out. Hi, Papa. Are you okay with me <coughs> Hi. How you doing, Papa? Hi, big boy. It's okay. I know it's very scary. He was not happy to see me when I got him. He just kind of seemed like this old, unhappy dog that I didn't know what his temperament was like. I didn't know if he was going to have this degree of anxiety forever. I drove him into New Jersey to our trainers where he was going to stay as an emergency boarding case because we had no other alternative for this dog. He has severe muscle atrophy and severe hip dysplasia. But the fact that he's in that much pain and he's not aggressive, he's never lunged or gone after a human, his temperament is A++++. And the second time I visited him, they brought him out and I was like, whose dog is this? <laughs> There was light, there was calmness. There was no anxiety. He actually was happy to see me. He finally got comfortable enough with me where he let me dress him up and decorate him for Christmas. You want a neck scratch? Oh, you like that? I'm actually going to go meet a foster who is potentially interested in taking him for the hip replacement. Are you happy with your new friend? You're posy, huh? He's like, hold my hand. <laughs> Are you just settling in? <laughs> Are you too big? Do you not know your size? Do you know how big you are? I don't think so. <laughs> yes, yes, all the kisses meeting trap i knew i definitely could not wait to foster him i couldn't wait to get him i got him right before christmas and it was honestly the greatest christmas present yeah. <laughs> thank you thank you yeah. He was like a bull in a china shop, but <laughs> he thinks he's a lap dog, and he really is just a 90 pound lap dog. He just wants to be loved. It's been such an amazing experience. He's just been the greatest first foster I could have literally ever asked for. After 12 weeks, he will be adoptable. If I don't foster fail, there's a pretty high possibility he's a great dog.